Okay, so here we have it. Finished, complete, up and running. I decided to use the Proline paddle tires. I had BBs in the front of them to add weight, as I'm sure you saw in the first video. I actually, there was enough unglued for me to be able to open this tire and let all the BBs out. The reason being is I don't want any weight. I really don't want to mess up this front uh, differential again, uh, especially by causing more weight in the front tires. Uh, let me pop the top. So this is the crawler body. You have yet to see this since the first video with any stickers. But it came out pretty well, and I got the roof rack at uh, the Zoom Room in Newmarket. I'm not sure who makes it. Um, that's all mounted and drilled. Everything, the body holes are nice and tight. It's not even on right now because it actually takes pressure to pop them in, which is good. So it won't be rattling around, but lots of articulation. Everything seems to be smooth, and I roll it. I don't hear a ton of clicking in the gears. Everything seems to be okay. I'll pop the top off for you. Um, so here we go. I decided to remove that little plastic piece. There was the old servo box here that I double taped, uh, double sided taped the receiver to. Uh, the antenna was always freestyled. I put a little holder there for it. I'm not going to drill a hole in the roof, but. At least it's out of the way when it's in this. Um, which I didn't point out before. I stuck with my 55 turn crawler, 55 turn crawler motor that came with it. Really slow crawl. Um, I had enough room to double side tape, jam this up in here so that there's a bit of room between the motor and the uh, ESC for heat. Uh, I have a fan I think I'm going to put on there, but I'm not sure. I don't only have another auxiliary input, and I may use a smoke kit or a sound kit, something better than a fan anyway. Um, i still got one battery left with, a, to me, a connector. Everything else I have is banana clips, so there's a 4,500 milliamp in there. Uh, let me fire it up, and we'll see. Get this out of the way. First works fine, forward works fine. So, as you can see, it's functional. I am I decided, sorry, yeah, to keep the rear as it was, and I did put together my arms and my old kit. The front mount servo adapter that was on there, this steel plate, uh, didn't work. It lined up right with the shock right in front of it, so I, I see no way how I would have put a servo there. I don't know why it was sold with that, but whatever. Luckily, I had this, and I used my arms. I'm happy with the screw I found for the arm on the servo and I'm happy with the bolts that I have going into the servo arm at the end but I just kind of mocked together a couple of screws basically to hold in the end and that's something I want to change I want to get a nice reliable bolt because I remember before that was that was always an issue but looks to be good now there's not a lot of turn or radius on this servo so I'm going to look into that for more steering it's really not a lot of turning uh, linkage or whatever it doesn't it's not really too good right now so that's going to be one thing i'm going to look to upgrade but uh the next video will be uh i'm going to whip together something for seeing it in action i'll probably take it to the park see if i can find some mud and should uh equate to some good video all right